Hey everyone, it's Fiona McLeod from Siren Soul. Today I'd love to share with you a way that I work with my clients in order to help them to experience more joy and love in their life. This is really cultivating that core happiness so that you can be happy at the core under any circumstances rather than waiting for the external world to make you happy or help you to be happy. It is possible to be happy in the midst of turmoil. That doesn't mean that you're laughing your way through tragedy. It means that you are ultimately a peaceful, happy person inside, simply dealing with a tough experience, not a sad person hoping to get some instant gratification from the external world as much as possible. That difference is the key to your happily ever after. To find your love and your joy, we must access our heart. When you were born, you were the epitome of love and joy. You oozed and radiated this beautiful, pure essence. Now as a human, as every human, we get programmed just like a computer, especially in the first five years of our life. So we learn how to function in our society. We get taught things, we get told things. Some things we're told are so beautiful and lovely and positive and other things are not. We can have different caregivers and experience in, is in life that can really affect how we feel about ourselves. But either way, this is the program that we're gathering, as I said, in the first seven years of your life. We continue to gather information in further years and then up to about 14, we're sort of a bit established in who we are by then. But if we don't become aware that a lot of our programs are actually outdated and not true, then we can be a victim to these untrue beliefs. And therefore, it's really important to realize that we have these layers that we can also remove. I like to align this to a game of pass the parcel, where the prize is inside. The prize is your beautiful heart. It's your light. It's your magnificence. It's also the ultimate gift that you're giving the world. So if we shed a layer, we all honestly and openly open up our heart by dropping the baggage we can reveal more of our true self. Now the interesting alignment with the pass the parcel game, if you remember as a kid, when the music stops, we have to unwrap a layer. Well in life, I align this to when life gets tricky, when it's not all fun and games with the music, then we need to look at what's come up, what has risen, what are the emotions you're experiencing, what is this doing inside of you? What is this external experience doing inside of you? How is it making you feel? Because that's not a new feeling. That's an old feeling rising. And you now have the ability to process old stuff. You can use this experience not to blame the world for you feeling this way, but to say thank you. I now know there's another layer to be removed that I can be with the emotion and release it and then move on to the next past the parcel moment. And once we can come closer and closer to our true essence of love, we start reacting to life from love and compassion with a caring nature, with a happy nature, rather than reacting from these filters that are the layers that have given us reason to be scared or to be untrusting or to be afraid or to be feeling unworthy and all of these things are filters that we have responded to life from. If we remove those filters, we respond from our truth, from that essence we came in with as a young baby. And that's the process of unwrapping your heart, revealing your true self, your authentic self, which is the love, the divine love. Unlike how many people refer to I'm just being my authentic self, as in their reactions. Any reaction is an opportunity to remove a layer. The only authentic energy that exists is pure divine love. And unless you're asking yourself, what would love do in this situation? There is an opportunity to unwrap your beautiful heart. See you next time.